little My Little Plant Babies. Ain't they so cute? Um, anyways. Hey, y'all. Um, we're back. It's week number two. I actually made it. Uh, so last week we did kind of blob painting sketching. Um, we're going to follow that vein a little bit. Um, I have a sketch your own stickers. Very nice. I like it. Um, so they, you know, they have shapes. You fill in the shapes with whatever you want. Um, but I try to do not what is expected in the shape. So it's like a lightning bolt. I drew a pencil. Yeah, you'll see. We might color that one today. Um, we're going to be using markers. Beautiful markers. Um, I have a set of Copics. And we're going to color with those for a while. So, let's see if I can do this without knocking things over. Okay, yeah, so here's the sketchbook. I got it at Target. And, uh, yeah, I like it. It's fun. Like I said, it's got a um, test page so you can sketch things out. There's the real stickers. You know, I've already colored a couple. I love that little dude. He's cute. Um, and so, yeah, I, you know, sketched in a couple. We can color them and see what happens. So, I am using Copics. I have a blender, which is a zero colorless blender. Do you like the makeup people do? Um, the colorless blender, and so that helps you blend your colors. I've not really worked with Copics a whole lot, so um, so we, you know we'll just uh, we'll just practice. We'll see what com comes out of it. Um, so my first little dude, I'm going to color his buddy. Um, I sketched these out with a pencil, and then I erased a lot of it so that you just really kind of see it lightly because I don't want the I don't want the graphite to smooch. I want And so yeah, you I'm sure I don't know if you can see it really well. It's um, a little pink. It's going to be pink. It's going to be a pink afro. And, uh, and he's got sunglasses on. And, yeah. So I don't have a full set of Copics. I just have a, eh, maybe over, just over 80, I guess. Um, I guess there's this purple for the shadow. Um, this, uh, this book, it, it blends pretty well with these markers, so... You know, Copics are an alcohol ink, and test it on the blank page first so you don't miss. Did I? Yeah, no, this is the lightest. Um, test it on the paper first so you don't mess it up, or you don't, you know, get, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Ugh. I am super proud of myself for getting in another another video because I don't know what I'm doing. I think that's my that's my catchphrase. I don't know what I'm doing. Give him some aviators. If we can make those look like aviators. Hope you got your coffee. Hope you got your your pens and your pencils and whatever you felt like uh, finishing, accomplishing. Um, I've heard that if you you put the colorless blender down first, it makes it so it doesn't streak. But I'm you know I'm trying to not do that at this moment. Um, it's like cotton candy, little. Ooh, little um, afro. So obviously he's got his his beard because I mean that's what he's made of. The other thing I've learned with the colorless blender is that um, if you put it down first, it makes things bleed a lot. So like if you look at that one, like really bleeds out so that's why I'm just trying a little bit different um, 
So we'll see what happens when I oop, test that. So I'm not like, is it gonna make it just bleed into itself or not really or? Like I said, I, I, ugh, now I don't know what color I just used. <laughs> <coughs> That's another reason why putting these down is, well, that certainly wasn't that one. Putting, um, putting them down on the paper next to you will, like, let you know what color you started with or you worked with first. So, okay. So we're just going to make that first color, the highlight, this is going to be the main color of said afro. And then we'll do, this might be too dark, but we'll see. Oh yes, kind of dark. We'll go. Yeah, I have about, <coughs> sorry, I have a cough, a little bit over, dog hair, dog hair, everywhere, always dog hair. Does your little fur baby like to help you? I don't think I have anything lighter than that. I guess we'll use it. Mine likes to help by adding fur to everything. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope that you've been able to draw or art since the last we spoke. Um, seems definitely less pink than I wanted him to. I'm also not used to just how, I guess, vibrant these are. But I do, I think the blending is amazing. They, you can get some really awesome stuff. And again, I'm, I'm very new at this. At, at using these. And I know, I know the more you put down, the more it like wants to bleed. So again, just experimenting, just trying things out. If you don't have Copics, that's okay. Like, what are you working on? Sketching paint and pen are you using your pewter to okay what <coughs> my goodness do that throw some aviators If I can even make them look like aviators, because, you know, it's so tiny. Ooh, I love that. Again, that color is way more dusty than that lid leads to, leads me to believe, but I think that works. Okay. So that's C5, that's C7, although, yeah, they're both cool grays.
there. Cool. Uh, got a little pink in between. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, and he has a comb, of course. Um, should I cut with these? How about blue? And if you don't have, you know, if you don't have a sticker book, that's okay. Just, uh, hoping this will, oops, like move the color, maybe, to make it lighter right there. Oh, it kind of does. Okay, cool. And again, you gotta just watch the tip and make sure it's doesn't get the that residue color on it okay cool so I Zada, these colors amazing um I also have the Copic multi-liner that just I think came with it and so then I just you know color color trace them when they're dry A little bit of shadow. This is point three, which uh, I kind of like. That's probably the thickest I like to draw with is a point three pen. Oopsie. Do 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 do. I'm done. I'll try to get it closer so you can see it a little. There it is. Maybe you focus. Eh, okay. Well, we'll show you at the end, I guess. Um, keep the color out and then shove all these back in there. Uh, here you're supposed to store your markers on their side. Like, don't, um, don't lean them up because all the ink will go to the bottom. I've heard. I don't know if it's true. Could be true. Oh, right. Um, I want to do that. I have a barfing smiley face, which is too emoji for me, but I have a plan for those guys. I have a saltine who has a face. I have a rubber ducky. Again, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I flipped the book upside down and drew a duck. That one looked like it was supposed to be a bow tie, so I made it a candy. <coughs> a candy with a skull on it. Skull candy. Here's a one, two, three, four, five, six, six sided eyeball. Here's my happy side cloud. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I want to do one of these. Okay, so I said red shoes. Oops. I am drinking coffee. It is hazelnut. But it's a different brand. It's um, Green Mountain. Which is the best. I like Copics because they're re refillable, so you can either get like a big, like a little reservoir, and you just fill it back up. Um, they do replacement nibs, which I think is awesome. Um, and they are expensive though. I got these as a gift. And that's pretty orange, but I'm glad that I have like a variety. coughing all day and now here I am coughing okay so I colored that first let's see how it blends why did I pick pink eh, that might work okay doggy hair. Oops. Oh, I totally colored in the toe of that. That's stupid. Oh well. Pink one, here I am. Oh, that might be the one I want. So let me do that, and then let's try this. Let's see if it blends it more. Or it's, I don't know. More blended. And my dog has started snoring again. going to be not going to be like a converse I guess there he's got red shoes I think we're going to give this guy <coughs> this one gentle shoes Just started, ooh, that's a good one. Just started the most recent issue of B Stars. And that's a good one. Um, it's a really good episode. Episode? Volume. It's really fun. The art is so good. Um, I have seen the. 
have seen the the anime that was on I think it was Netflix but I haven't seen the most recent I'm pretty sure a new season dropped and we haven't seen that but we are keeping up with the manga so that's something just go over and over and over until it blends to my satisfaction. Um, yeah, Lego She is the star of the show in Beastars, and it's, um, they're rather adult themes, so it's not for children. <laughs> um, it's also about, like, societal norms and, I mean, it gets deep. Okay. Yeah, shoes. I don't need to tell myself that they're red now. Um, when I saw this guy, obviously it's the four suits of a card, but all I could see was the little blue blob from like Final Fantasy. I think it was three. But it was like the first one in the US. I don't know, something like that. But that was the uh the blue blob was the basic bad guy. <clears throat> and so all I saw was him and thought he'd look cute in. Now those look exactly the same. In Nikes. The Nikes, uh little shoes, Converse. So this is just B. 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 Oh, new. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay. That's the shadow. That's the base. This is the highlight. Oh, no, too gray. Nope, still very dark. Jeez, on crackers. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, these little blue, blue blobs attack you in the game. They're one of the first ones you encounter, so. They become one of the easiest ones to defeat. But I think they're cute. They have a drawn line around the cutout, so if I'm not going to the edge of the line because that's not even where the cutout is. I don't know if, I'm, if that makes any sense. <clears throat> oh, I should have got my white paint marker. Oh well. So next one here goes to the shadow. I'm gonna make it like he's almost reflective. So there's that, you know, the bounce light. So yeah, if anybody uses Copix on a regular <coughs> basis, please uh, leave any advice in the, the comments. 
because I will take it. I will take the advice. Because that's what these tests are for. To get better at what you're doing. I'm telling people I have somebody to go sketch with definitely helps. So thank you. Thank you for being the reason to pull out my sketchbook and or sticker book. Oh, I made it look kind of case kind of sad. Okay. Just See, that's why you gotta wipe off that, because they just got red in it, and I don't think that's gonna go away. with the dark blue Pretty cute. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm just gonna make the legs black anyway, so just you know it'll But uh yeah, so there's my little blue vault guy. Ooh. No, that's blue. I thought it was a blue blender. <coughs> <coughs> okay, there's my little blue blob guy. Let's do some line art. No, well, I suppose we'll color this guy first. Uh, I didn't really have a... <clears throat> Actually, let's do pink first. I'm trying to shoot you with his little... Who knows what he's got in there? He's gonna spit at you though. <laughs> okay. Yellow and green. Yellow and purple, I suppose makes the most sense. Put that back. Okay, purple. I definitely could use some more purples. of their shoe color. These are cool because they're also chiseled, or chiseled. They have two sides, so one's a chiseled edge and one's a fine edge. I've never used the chiseled edge. Hopefully cuts aren't different. 
Um, yeah, so I've never actually used the chisel wrench, but obviously these are... <laughs> My dog's just staring at me. Uh, these are rather small, so using the chiseled edge would be good for bigger pieces. I'm just not there yet. Well, we'll keep going. We'll keep trying. That's a really dark one. That's the next dark one. And this is another dark. So we'll do that. Um. Under highlight. So I'm still watching Summer Camp Island. I'm on season four. And uh, what's with the first episode of season four? Anybody? If anybody knows the answer, please comment because I was very confused. The, uh, the first episode of the fourth season is like... <coughs> really bad like really primitive that's probably a better word <coughs> excuse me really primitive uh cg bubbly like woo real bad um it's amazing the 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 content's still amazing but like why did they choose to do that and i tried looking it up and nobody Obviously, I tried to look it up really quickly, but nobody had the answer. Like, nobody could explain to me what was going on. Why did they do what they did? Like, why was it so primitive? Because the cartoon itself is 2D. It's so cute. It's, you know, that kind of hand-drawn style. It's 2D. And, like, I, I really don't know why they did that. Why... Did they make it uh, kind of really primitive CG? Um, it's called, what's it called? It's called Sea Bunnies. So the elephant, the main character. Somehow gets stuck in a porta potty. Uh, he thought it was a regular porta potty. It was called a portal potty. But anyways, it brings you to the bottom of the sea. And and antics ensue. It's, it's, and again, the content's cute. There's songs and it's fun and. I'm just watching in order that it presents itself on HBO Max. I don't know if this is the order that they were made in. It might not be. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, so uh, he's yeah down there in the in the ocean, but he's all CG and everything CG and. This one did not come out quite in the way I wanted it to. Um, but he's still okay. He's okay. That dark is really dark. Um, oops. Wow, that was... What the heck? 
dude. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Okay. If you do a couple of layers of the same color, it darkens it like, you know, a bit. Okay. Again, just learning. Seeing what this stuff does. Again, on non, you know, non marker paper. <clears throat> all the way to the edge of the, the sticker cut itself, the sticker die cut. So we will just follow that. But again, it's totally cute show, kid friendly, it's got stuff that's, you know, not adultish, but things that adults might find humorous. It's very cute, ooh, I can't see, sorry, that was my head. <laughs> I think that's the uh, sticker cut. Um. Yeah, adults could enjoy it. They like cute things, and I do. So, go out and watch it. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm still on that. Give me some big eyes. Big shows. I like that a lot. <laughs> I find these kinds of things amusing. I'm just going to trace those. Okay. We're back, hopefully. I don't know what happened. My camera got a little finicky. Show laces. Looks like a set of three grids. We'll call you Grapple. I hope you all can hear my dog because he sounds ridiculous he likes to take and shove his nose into the the pillows and the 
the bedding and the, so it makes a meow. My dog is a lab mix of some kind. He loves water, but he kind of stinks at swimming. Got the webby toes, slightly not super webby, but he's got bits of web toes. You know, you'd say that's a lab thing. Okay, there he is, my little grapple pie. He's the cat, and there's Blobby. He's Blobby. We probably have time for one more. One more. There's my lightning pencil. My schmack ballistic glue. And I did an amoeba, a tear, a torn rainbow. It's a, it's a rainbow that was torn. I like that. I like this gumdrop guy. This shape was a light bulb, but I turned into a hot air balloon that's carrying the boat. That's fun. Ooh, ooh, and I also have to show you. What bam! So, I clean off my paint palette, you know, and you tear the the, uh, the paint off. But look at, does anybody guess what I think it is? He looks like one of those fuzzy legged rooster chicken dudes. So here's his head and here's his comb. There's like a chest. Here's his big floofy tail. Here's one leg, and then here's his other leg, and they're really thick because they're covered in feathers. Uh, that is so fun. And I actually really like the color scheme and the design that came up. So this is the bottom of the palette. That's what, it, you know, when you pour paint and it dries, and that's what you peel it up. And usually on the back side, something fun. Should try it sometime. <laughs> Yeah, so I think we're gonna do a real quick torn rainbow. I love rainbows. They're like my favorite. Red. They're just classic rainbows. We'll see how much I can actually get it to blend. Um, we'll see. All right. Oops, it's a chiseled edge. Yeah, that's a good orange. And I'm fine if it doesn't blend because it's a rainbow. <laughs> the most recent album I listened to was the original Fantasia by Disney. You know, Disney's Fantasia. Red, aren't you? Yeah, take me a minute to count this out. <clears throat> Red, aren't you? Cool. Um, yes. So the original Fantasia came out in like 1940 or something. Something like that. I think that's correct. Um, came out in 1940 and people... I'm pretty sure did not like it. They didn't understand it. Even now, today, people don't, people don't understand Fantasia. It's just sound and animation. Sound and animation, you know? You just... It's just something to be enjoyed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... I listened to that album. I love it. My favorite is the... Oh, no. I always forget the name of that song. Something of Hours. It's called The Hours. It's like the second to last song. That is one of my least favorite colors. Ultramarine blue. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, we'll do that one. Oh, no, wait. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, uh, indigo, violet. Okay. Blue. I don't think I actually have an indigo color. There's lots of red, blue, red, blue. Red. No. Blue, green. You're turning violet, violet. These are my purples. This is what I get. Well, I guess I could just do like the teal and then I'll do blue. Bah. And then purple. Okay. 
Okay. So I hope you had a good time. I hope you keep painting, keep drawing, keep again, do it, do it. Tell people you you can't go hang out. You can't go to the grocery store. No, I don't know. But you have to make time for this stuff. Again, even if you're just doing silly things like coloring broken rainbows. Like, if you don't make time for it, you ain't gonna get better. And that's to me as much as it is to anybody else. So there, I have a broken rainbow. Torn up. Okay, well, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you got something done. Again, even if it's just doing a couple scratchy sketches or something. Um, I got four stickers done. The blobbies. Cutie cute. Let me see that one closer. Just a torn up scrap of rainbow. I like it. And then my afro hair dude. My cotton candy afro? Yeah, that came out. Now coming back to it, it looks better than I expected. Let's... Oh no, where's my brain? Oh, it's all the way over there. Uh, what is it? What is it? Get it. I can't make it! Oop! Got it. Uh, there's the blobs from last week. Again, I didn't get a whole lot done. Big surprise. But... I made a sticker, so yay for me. Doop. So cute. Auto focus? Auto focus? Yeah, you know. But anyways, there he is. I love him. They're cute. Gonna do it again. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. I hope you have a good week. I hope you have a creative week. I hope you have a fun week. I hope you have all the week that you need to have. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. See you later. Bye. Click.